Okay, so right now, uh, before we can uh, proceed to solving a sample problem, we must first have to deal with one more equation before we uh, We need to define the stiffness of members with rigid supports. Okay, so um, we have noticed here in our pre previous discussion that uh, we have an action that's like this. Okay, uh, I'll just write it uh, here, which uh, there is a force there, and our structure deflects like this. Okay, so it's quite similar to this. If uh, we could uh, just uh, try to imagine it that way, basically when you make this uh, stand up like that, it acts like this. Okay, now as you can see. This uh, member here, this was supposed to be straight, okay? This was supposed to be straight. But somehow, deformation is forced upon it. Now, this is uh, not very, not exactly uncommon because during in construction, there is what we call the fabrication errors, okay? When you say fabrication errors, okay, may problema sa pagkuan mo fabrication and then the result din siya na hiwi ang pagkuan ba uh, pag execute lugar sa kuan especially sa steel dayon gikan mga welding na gimo nila na ipugos bitaw also there are errors then uh, here and that now that is uh, the reason why we have to consider fabrication errors put in advanced na structural engineering said now for this case here there is a deformation that is forced upon it. Well, there is a deformation forced upon it. Now, when there is deformation na gipugos ana sa yaha, meaning, ni deform sa cha, and therefore, na ay mga forces that have somewhat developed, causing it to be shaped like that. Now, if that is the case here, I would uh, assume that there is a moment na pana, dili? It's trying to twist it this way, okay? Likewise, there is a moment that's acting right here. It's trying to twist it like that at the same time, pa siya. So, the slight S na frame, so yung shape, okay? Behold. Now, that is the case here. We have a moment here, moment there. This is still in static equilibrium. This needs a, a rotation that will counteract this moment, uh, these two moments that have developed here. Now, for that case, these moments are actually counterclockwise. We need a moment that is uh, clockwise to counteract that. Now, that moment can be produced by applying a force. There are... If R is going down here, R should be going up here, sad. To maintain equilibrium sa vertical na motion. Okay? Now, with that in mind, let's try to analyze this. So, yeah, in a case. Now, I would like the. There are lots and lots of ways to go about this, but we can also use a conjugate beam method ba? for simplicity uh, i find it more graphical much more appealing sa mga kanang visual learners now when i draw the conjugate beam for this r should be going this way straight ba uh, remember now m is also going down here pana hmm. sa so we have a Conjugate beam din eh. Ba? This is equal to R times L. Divided by this by EI. And we will have this. Okay? Now, moment. We have this uh, moment here. Divided by... EI. We have our conjugate beam. Nasan dayan, pa? This is a fixed end. Conjugate beam version is. Uh, there's no fixed end. This is a 
uh, fixed end. So this is a free end as well. Okay. Now, I also have a problem in certain dini. I would like to present moment as terms of R. Okay. So I try to do this. I go with equilibrium for uh, this figure here. Moment at, let's say, this point here. I'll just call this as 1. And this is uh, point 2. Mo uh, moment at point 1 is equal to 0. So that means M plus M is equal to R times L. Okay? So in this case, we have uh, 2M is equal to RL. M consequently is equal to RL over 2. So this is our moment here. Now, with that in mind, I would like to change moment here to RL over 2. So this is RL to EI. Okay? So we have uh, this in certain uh, class in expression uh, diagram. Rather. So, from this, I would like to play with this uh, particular expression, uh, with this uh, conjugate beam, and I would like to solve for the deflection here. Of course, we know the deflection is equal to delta, but then I would like to take advantage of this uh, figure here. Now, the conjugate beam... For the conjugate beam, we have uh, RL two EI area times uh, L times uh, L over two. Mm. Uh, I'll just uh, this is negative. I can set whatever I want na. and then plus RL that is the opposite. Oh. The area of that, uh, this is triangular, so one of uh, height times base, okay, times uh, moment arm, which is L over 3. That should be all equal to uh, delta, okay. This is equal to Somanisha. Uh, negative and fourth. Oh, I'm sorry. I just ma mixed up the negatives and the positives. <laughs> okay, so this is a uh, number four. This is um, okay. One fourth R L cube over I. Okay, minus a uh, one half. R L cubed over uh, one half one half times uh, three that is six E I um, we have this okay this expression now solving for this I will have uh, one fourth minus one six uh, that should be equal to one over twelve R L cube over E I is equal to delta now sim simplifying this. I will have that R is equal to 12 EI delta divided by L cube. So I have an expression for R. Okay. Now, this is just one step. Pasa the second step here is to actually invoke the um, Fundamental definition of force, stiffness, and displacement. Now, force uh, is equal to stiffness times displacement, which is equal to uh, see this. Well, hmm. now in this case, F is equal to R, okay, and K is something that we need to find, and this is equal to delta. Now I substitute uh, all these values here, and I will have this is equal to k. Mm. This cancels out, and we shall have the expression for k, which is equal to 12 uh, ei over 
the cube. So kindly take note of this uh, expression over here, okay? So this is how we derive uh, equations for. Now, this is only good for uh, situations in which we can define that uh, there are the, the two supports, the two endpoints of the two uh, of the member here is rigid. Now, this is very common when we're dealing with the uh, RC structures. So, therefore, uh, we'll be using this uh, formula more than once. Okay, more or at least more, uh, more or less, m most of the time. Okay, so if you have any questions for this uh, derivation here, we can uh, just uh, comment your questions on the post or the video. Okay, or you can uh, send me a PM. Okay, uh, thank you for listening.